selling your home, the brokers of Me Realty will work with you to get the deal done. As one of Central Illinois' top producing offices for decades, Me Realty has the experience to guide you through the process. You want results? Call the brokers of Me Realty at 217-735-5424, stop by the office at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln, or check out local listings online at merealty.com. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Culver's, home of the Butter Burger, 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Go Railers! Presentation of WLCN 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com. This live video stream is made possible in part by WLCN's live stream technology sponsor, Me Realty, located at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln and online at merealty.com. The wrestling team, we're, we're going to get these guys on quick, right? Because I think you got to be somewhere. Got uh, baseball games today, Danny Fulcher? They just got canceled. Oh, well, then we have all day. We can stay till noon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're, well, we were going to get you going here at 9, so I was trying to be quick. But uh, anyway, you're uh, joining another edition of The Cheap Seats, joined by Jake Johnson. He's giving me a bad eye today, but that's all right. Got Jim Ash with us, Lloyd Kirby running things. And we're going to get right to it. We're joined by the Lincoln Junior High School wrestlers and their head coach, Danny Fulcher. Danny, how you doing, my man? You know, I know that we know each other then because then I can call you Joey. You have to know me back into grade school to call me Danny. And when my freshman year, my, my mom looked at me and says, you will go as Dan. So when I hear Danny, I always I love it now. I've always <laughs> called you Danny Fulcher. I know it. I know. That's good. There you go. And Danny, you're probably you're probably your, is this your fourth or fifth year of coaching wrestling? I did my third head and my, actually my 10th year of uh, kids I'm in and overall. high school. This I, was, is, I wasn't um, going to say your age. This is my 55th year of wrestling. Wow. 49 years of officiating, and then I wrestled four years, and then uh, two years I, I went on a training program to become an official, and uh, that is that is just wrestling has blessed me. God has blessed me so much in wrestling, it's amazing. Well, we know where that's taking you. I've watched Pop around down there on that on those mats at the uh, state championships, handing out awards, in charge of stuff. And if they have a question on a call, they ask Danny Fulcher. Uh, usually that's what has happened. Then I always ask my wife to make sure it's right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. later on, she tells you if you're uh, right or wrong. She's doing that all the time. <laughs> Very impressive. Well, let's get to these guys this year, uh, young ladies, guys. Um, you, yes. uh, 
he had a pretty good season. Yeah, I mean, wrestling has, and Lincoln Junior High, Lincoln Junior High is constantly successful. Why? Because we have numbers, because we have support from our District 27, and we have a facility that's pretty cool. Fun, fun atmosphere to wrestle at Lincoln Junior High, isn't it? Uh, we have a gym that uh, we were able to put a dome light down, and uh, it'll darken the gym, and, and it really highlight the matches out there. So we are so fortunate to have that. And, and just another year, uh, last three years, we've won 64 duels. And uh, the, the two years before that, when they moved it up to where you could wrestle more, it used to be 35, then it went to 42. So we, we wrestle the maximum that we possibly can. And we won 22 duels uh, three years ago, uh, two years ago. Last year, we won 23 duels. And this year, 21 of our 42 wrestlers have never wrestled before in their life come out for the team uh, but what makes us tough is that th this is probably one of the funnest teams that I've ever had the opportunity is our coaching staff because they're good kids they listen they work they're not kids they're good young adults they worked very hard and what they're doing and it's made Lincoln uh, junior high wrestling we, we fill 19 weight classes so when it, lo it looks like you know when the bus is that one where the never-ending line uh, of Trojans keep coming in that they have to wrestle so we fill a, a varsity team and then usually have anywhere from 10 to 15, maybe 18 junior varsity exhibition matches along with that. How many classes in the in grade school wrestling? Two. Uh, we, we just now gotten big enough. Hello, thank you. Uh, we're now in double A. Last two years, we went double A uh, to where uh, that so we. So you're a small double A, are you? We, oh, last year, we were the smallest by four students, the <laughs> smallest double A. And this year, we jumped up to where there was one other team below us <laughs> in there. But uh, <laughs> wow. We, we wrestle a lot of the same teams, uh, and so it's good for us to be at the AA because we're going to see the Chatham, we're going to see uh, the Jacksonville, we're going to see those teams, the Decatur schools, Mount Zion schools that we see in high school. So let's just see them while we're at junior high. And the is is it all local? Like how? What's your? You have a conference? No, there's no conference in wrestling, uh, but it's mainly the area wrestlers. You know, there's a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of tough teams around here in the area. I mean, uh, just our schedule we wrestle alone because we're wrestling Chatham, we're wrestling Quincy, uh, Jacksonville, uh, Mount Zion as we talk about, Muhammad Seymour uh, every year, really tough. But then Leroy, Gibson City, uh, Olympia, a lot of a lot of good tough teams. And is this fifth through eighth grade? Fit, now, it, Lincoln Junior High is sixth, sixth through, through eighth grade. They do allow us to have one or two uh, fifth graders that are managers that can do exhibition matches for us. Oh. But because uh, they're not actually in-house, we don't have fifth graders. A lot of other junior highs have fifth grade and we appreciate the support that they allow us at least to have a couple managers well, that's what I was wondering I thought it used to be so if you're in fifth grade you're wrestling with the club you wrestle and you can still wrestle with the club all the way through eighth grade you can wrestle clubs wrestle on Sunday and then we wrestle our, we have our practice right after school until 5 15 to 5 30 and then they can go out into the high school and do the youth wrestling as well if they so desire so uh, so half of these kids never went through the the Walt and the, and the wrestling program <laughs> Half of these kids, the out of bounds line was a, was was hard to get over, <laughs> and, and, and and then uh, absolutely just the the way that they they listened um, and our practice, we just say if you want to talk, that you have to say, hey, coach such and such, because there were so many involved into it, and pretty much they bought into that. They bought in because there's there's a lot that you have to learn to be a wrestler, and the the first two things, what's the, what's the first two things to be a wrestler? What's number one? Grades. What's number two? And grades and behavior. And they learn that uh, this sport sets them up uh, for life more than anything. And we start every practice by talking about who's got problems with grades and how's your behavior going. And then we, we try, then we make them be a good wrestler. Well, that's a great positive influence on them. And mm -hmm. I've always said I think it helps you. Wrestling when you're a little kid helps you in every sport you'll do. I mean, not only discipline, everything else for grades, and but it'll help you and give you some self confidence. Yeah, absolutely. You're, and you're not scared of anybody else. Right, Jake? Oh, absolutely. Well, j just what you said also makes a lot of sense. This wrestling is a sport. It's not a game. You know, it, 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 there's a big difference between this as, as what's the world's oldest sport. You know, it's the one that you still shake hands before and shake hands afterward, uh, and it makes, it makes you become a better person. One of our big advocates is we want you to do other sports. 
Take the wrestling stance and tell me that isn't conducive to football, that isn't conducive to baseball, that isn't conducive to all the other things that you've got inside there. So uh, wrestling will make you not only a better person, but it sets you up for other sports as well. I agree. With you. And, and who's uh, who's helping with, with assistant coaches? Okay, uh, uh, Craig Bean, Dwight Reed, and and, and Alex Dawson. He, he loves coming by every once in a while, and especially at his tournament, his namesake after him. And uh, we always try to treat him like royalty, which he is. Does he ever get on the mats or anything? I mean, he's getting well, old. He's well, not like uh, us. Yeah, I mean, not like us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Alex went through this year. He did have a couple surgeries on oh, knee, knee and shoulder. Uh, but uh, it, he's the eight million dollar man. Oh, so I don't even keep him going. Yeah, he, he can yeah. keep going. Yeah. Uh, well, let's let's jump let's around to uh, some of these kids and our. Uh, let's do it. You can uh, wherever you well, want to start. If I could, I'm gonna start right over here. What kind of start? What, what, what we here I'm sitting over here is this is uh, Elliot Martin. Elliot, uh, he is eighth grader. He is he our state well. qualifier this year. Elliot was a was a heartthrob for us this year. He uh, on his journey. Ever ever wrestler we got inside here is a 20 plus wrestler winner. Uh, 20 matches that they had won. Elliot uh, won six matches, got two forfeits, uh, and two buys, and a forfeit on his journey to state. And uh, all six matches he won, he was behind in every one of those matches at one point or another. He, he has a move that we call, I'm sorry, we call it the jelly belly roll. <laughs> and, and 14 times, 14 of his 16 pins as he has this year, he jelly belly I rolled him, uh, and he jelly bell has rolled his way to state uh, to the state tournament this year. So uh, he he also then decided on his last match of the year to tie up with the guy, go nose to nose, and when they went to the mat, he broke his nose. So he's <laughs> without injuries. But Elliot, uh, sure sure glad to have him on the team. Uh, and uh, you're gonna be wrestling in high school, right? Yeah. I love it. Anything you want to say? Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, I would say like I really like doing it. And and it was a good time. Oh, yeah, you got to take the jelly roll out to the uh, high school then. Yeah. Hey, Coach Dietrich on top of that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He'll be on top of it for a while until he, he rolls him underneath, I'll tell you that. <laughs> he, he, it sounds like a mellow cream. Uh, yeah. Right here. Get, get a jelly roll over there named after you. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. it, I think they could use you on a football team, too. You know what I mean? I used to be on a football team, yeah. But then well, I didn't, you I, used to. I didn't really like it, so I didn't really Oh, do it you'll like it next year. You got to go out. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Get, get out there. <laughs> So then the, our next two are kind of like the bookends. You can imagine when I first looked up, uh, whenever we had a larger one, Elliot, and, and uh, of course, uh, then uh, Landon. But uh, Brody Pinchoff, he was our 65 and 70 pounder, first year wrestler, sectional qualifier. And uh, Brody found out how much fun it is to have to lose weight because he was around the 67 to 68. And you can imagine how much fun it is for a 68 pounder. We, we start at 65 pounds and junior high 65 to 275 so uh very quickly uh he learned how much he disliked losing weight so he started at 65 went to 70 uh, by the time the regionals but uh this year uh, brody benchoff 24 wins this year for us <laughs> as a sixth grader and a such okay. sectional qualifier so okay i got that look don't you get that chin up and okay brody i know you don't talk a lot but you want to try it Anything you want to say? <laughs> no, you're going to say something. I'd like to know your secrets in losing weight when you weigh 65 pounds. How'd you lose the weight? I don't know. Hold that mic up. Stop and talking. Talk I don't to know. Us. It just goes. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes. Metabolism. Probably from practice working. And then, Brody, what was the one thing that you liked that caused you to gain weight more than anything? liquids so we finally got the night before he would leave what he weighed and i said now you could you could take a drink of water but you'd have to spit it out am i right <laughs> <laughs> and he made the weight <laughs> That's good job. That's a, talk about learning some discipline. Yeah. Don't you wish we had that same discipline, Jake? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you took a drink of water and spit it out because you're worried about your weight? Never. <laughs> I'm not sure I ever did. It never happened. <laughs> you gonna give a shout out to somebody? Yeah. Say hi to mom and dad. Now hold on. Come on. Grandpa, and grandma, they're all listening. They're watching on YouTube too. Yeah. Your mom. Okay. 
Talk into that microphone. Let's give her a shot. Okay, nice job. Did yeah. you give us a shout out, somebody? Uh, no. Well, let's give us. Uh, my mom, uh, she supported me a lot. My dad also, he's been supporting me a lot. Um, my brother, he's in the Navy. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, he's helped me a good bit. Um, really good brother. Uh, my sister, we always hang out a lot together. And yeah. Well, that was a great shout out. Nice job. Good job. All right, we'll move her along. Landon Coach. Blockengay, he is our third uh, sectional qualifier. He is a sixth grader. Football coaches, look at that. He is a sixth grader. Uh, Getting you out for football. We uh, we started the season, uh, and we had a couple heavyweights, and we had another one, uh, I tell you what, that you're going to be hearing a lot about, and, uh, Adam Hendrickson. He was 242, seventh grader. And on his seventh match of the year, broke his ankle, uh, actually tipped fib and and uh, ankle dislocation uh, one of the craziest things with injuries was unbelievable this year and then uh, at that time is when Landon came in I still remember the look on his face when I walked over he'd been wrestling JV for seven matches and I said Landon you're up you are our varsity heavyweight and so he decided to not just be an average one he decided to go ahead and win 21 matches for us uh, be a sectional qualifier I would say Landon your most successful Exciting match this year was when we were at Tremont last match and uh, Got a giggle out of that and and he did, he did he did a, a jelly belly roll win. <laughs> to, to, we might have to have a demonstration. <laughs> oh, it, it's all they do. You like you you would love it. it. It is good. And uh, he tied the match up. And I remember the other team walking up to me. Says Dan, Dan, it's a tie. He says so. Who wins? I says who by who has the least amount of forfeits? And we had the least amount of forfeits, and we won won that uh, because of his match and the place we went crazy. As a matter of fact, Landon. Um, it was crazy because it was just incredible to win that because I didn't even think I was going to win. And then everyone just started going crazy and it was incredible. <laughs> In sixth grade. Sixth grade. What did it feel like? Hardly any sixth graders, especially at 215, 275, go to sectional. What did that feel like? Uh, it felt amazing because I never thought I would go to sectionals as a first year wrestler. Tell you what, yeah, you made a name for yourself. There are coaches at schools, other places, worried about you next year for the next couple of years. Guaranteed. And then these CSA teams, they're going to be worried about you too. You know what I mean? You going to play football? Uh, I do play football. Okay. Uh, this is in the summer. It will be my second year in football. All right. Good for you. Stay out there. You going to give a shout out to somebody? Um, my parents and my siblings. All right. Good job. He's a, he's a good young man. He really is. What was your nickname? <coughs> Tank. Tank. He was. <laughs> <laughs> fitting. He by. Uh, yeah. That's pretty fitting. It is. <laughs> right next to him, Elliot Lynch. Elliot is our, son? is our team captain. Elliot, two years in a row. Elliot won 24 matches this year for us. Elliot won 25 matches for us last year. So we, we uh, if you remember, there was the twins that we'd had last year, the Eilersons. So he gets one match away from sectionals because of at, at regionals, you, you can put two per weight class from team. So if you imagine you have seven teams, there was 14 at a regional. So making a sectional in an ISA is quite a feat. Yes, it is. So uh, what happens is then he misses it by one last year. Comes on and um, you it remind me a lot of uh, Jake Lawrence at the high school constant winner constant somebody's looking at them helping them and uh, you were a perfect team captain this year so just a, a monster leader at 167 pounds so right before regional we go Let's go. He says, Coach, I'm losing. I want to go 155. <laughs> so, More of that water, Jake. You know? yeah, yeah. He didn't know what water was. Water was for showers only. So he made 155, and we walk in, and uh, we head to the regional. As Our 155-pound class, our regional sectional, was the toughest in the state of Illinois, and he just missed going. If, if we'd have stayed at 167, he'd be in state qualifier. We'd, uh, we'd have, we'd, really? Yeah, we go. So, <laughs> 
<laughs> and you just whatever at that time. But uh, Elliot, um, and, and this, that's the great demeanor that he has. He he's like, I worked at it. We chose it. We that was our direction. We went. It didn't work out, and no excuses. No excuses from Elliot on anything. You ever wrestle around with your dad? Yeah, I wrestle around with him a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you ever let him win? Oh, I have to let him win. <laughs> He's an old timer. <laughs> he is getting to be an old timer. You know what I mean? He's getting up there. Yeah. He was tough when he was young. I don't know. He might be tough now. I don't know, but he was nah, tough when little, he was young. A little weak now. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be a long Saturday for you. <laughs> Is your uh, what, what was your famous move? Do you have a famous move? I, I really think it's outside leg single and then his inside leg stand up is really tough. But more than anything, as, as I could always count on Elliot, uh, at, he would he was 162, 160, 162 pounds, but he'd jump up to 185 at any time. He'd wrestle 185 pounder because he has 167, 185, and it wouldn't make no difference to him. Matter of fact, last year he probably wrestled more 185 than he did 167 and had a had a great season just because of the Tenacity. He, he just never quit. Very impressive. Yeah. I mean, they'll be ready for you out at the high school. Couldn't oh, play yeah. some football? No, I don't play football. Yeah, you might think you, about it. You, good idea. You know what I mean? We're going to work on you a little bit. Helmet would <laughs> look good on you. It so, would. Yeah. I might need a helmet in general. <laughs> <laughs> Once he gets done beating right. it. You want to give a shout out to a few people? Uh, I'll just give a shout out to my parents and all my amazing friends who supported me through it and my siblings. All right. That's a good shout. Mm. How about we take a commercial break and then we're going to come back and we'll talk to the rest of Lincoln Junior High School wrestlers. Stay with us. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Culver's, home of the Butter Burger, 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Go Railers! Whether you're buying or selling your home, the brokers of Me Realty will work with you to get the deal done. As one of Central Illinois' top producing offices for decades, Me Realty has the experience to guide you through the process. You want results? Call the brokers of Me Realty at 217-735-5424, stop by the office at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln, or check out local listings online at merealty.com.
This is Piper Whiteman from the 2024 Lady Railer State Champion Basketball Team, and you're listening to Cheap Seats on WLCN. Coach Danny Fulcher and the Lincoln Junior High School wrestling team. And we're talking some wrestlers right now, so uh, yeah. Danny, let's jump back into that. Let's do that. Matt Rabbit's I'm a heartbreak kid. Jace, uh, I'll tell you what, Jace King beside me, um, natural, natural wrestler. I, not only um, first time that he come to practice, I looked at him, I said, come here. Did I not? <laughs> Walked out in the, in the, in the uh, gymnasium. And I pointed down to the wall and I said, you see some banners down there? He says, yeah, I says, good. We want your name on one of them before this is all over with. Did I not? So you th did. That's, that's a good target that we're at. Jay's sixth grader, unbelievable talent, unbelievable talent. And, and he has matured into a, a wrestler that he, on every word that is being told to him, he just can't wait. Can't wait to hear it, can't wait to practice it, can't wait to do it. Why well, he's a heartbreak kid, 29 wins, and I go to the seating meeting uh, before the regionals, and uh, they're talking to me about a, uh, you know, a couple kids from Lincoln, and I hear him kind of talking over here, ah, king kid, you know, and I said, hey, what about the king kid? He said, well, I think next week uh, he's going to be ranked eighth in the, in the top ten in the state. And sure enough, he'd, he'd come out um, and was ranked uh, number eight in the state. Wow. Our regional was so tough. He got a number two seed there. Five of the ten was going to be at sectionals. But uh, Jay decided then to sport a 103-degree temperature. Ugh and was not able to wrestle in the regionals this year. Oh. So, anyhow, you know, I, I, I know what's standing behind a donkey and, a, and and he has shoes on and he kicks you <laughs> right in the stomach, you know. But I mean, the right decision, you know, and no matter, no matter what. So, uh, now you've kind of got that feeling for next year of what it's going to do. So, you're up, big guy. Anything you like to say to us? It was a really great experience. Like, it was the first time coming out for junior high and I really liked it. It was nothing like I would ever expect. I would I was never expecting to do this good. And this is I did. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the first this is your first year of it? Oh, junior high. I yeah. uh, I did three years with Walt. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. That's where they get you started, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Kinda get you addicted to it, then all of a sudden you're in. Yeah. And you're big time now when you get to the junior high. A couple years over in that high school. What weight again? Eighty. Eighty. Did you have to lose any weight this year? A couple times. Yeah, <laughs> twice or two or three times. You guys got to get off of that pop, right? That soda. <laughs> That's what's putting that weight on you. Probably. <laughs> you want to give a shout out to anybody? I'd like to give a shout out to my parents, uh, my brothers and sisters, and all the friends that helped me along the way. All right, nice job, sixth grader. So you know you got you're grooming him, right? Come back and uh, look at that state championship round. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> just, right. just, just not gonna, just not gonna mess around. We also, um, do we care if you lose? No. 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 Yeah. What do we care about? Do your best. Try hard. Try do your best. Now, there's goals that are set, and there's a goal that's an attainable goal. If that attainable goal does not happen, we'll make excuses, and we just keep getting better at it. You got a shot at it, kid. Okay, all right. And so is this little bitty thing next to him. <laughs> Hello, Carter. I, I am telling you, we, we should probably name him Spike because he's just like a nail. I'll tell you, he, he had grit, the wrestling at the IK level because he was our fifth grader. He did, and in exhibition matches, he only won 32 this year. 32 exhibitions? Yeah. yeah. How many did you lose? Six. Wow. <laughs> Average. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And what happened is that we didn't have anybody that way, so he's just wrestling. He's re the exhibition matches with a lot of their best kids that they had on their on their team. So he would have walked through regional, but we, we're happy with the way the program works. We're happy the way it works. And now, now he has all that experience as a sixth grader next year. Then you can start pounding your nails the way that, that you would like to keep them going. And uh, both of these two on their feet is just absolutely unbelievable. So a lot of our dual meets. Can you imagine our dual meets? 
you got these three coming out the door at you, <laughs> you know, to get it going. You know, you got three three little little dynamos coming right out the door, and a lot of schools don't don't have that. So he did this year uh, wrestled then for IKWF mm -hmm. state qualifier at, at, at IKWF's fifth. the real deal too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. fifth grade, and uh, he. Uh, Another one, hard working, working, and he was very good at working with wrestlers. I, I, I'll attribute, I think, a, a big reason why I think Brody turned out as good as he did this year was because the way that you two worked each other in practice, the way that that helped inside there, and, and you made each other better by doing that. So, uh, certainly looking, I know you had that new Holland Middletown drive every day, and we appreciate that. And um, you're up, Al. I don't got much to say. <laughs> I'm, it's been a fun year. I'd like to give a shout out to my parents and my siblings for supporting me. That's it. Your mom's also nice a big, job. Yeah, your mom's a big part of the team too. She helped keep score. She's one of them ladies that you need anything, you need any help with, what you're gonna do, how you're gonna help with it. Brody, I mean, well, all of them's inside here. I don't care. No, look, I look at every every one of them that's inside here. You know, Elias and Clock and Gaze, lunches. You know, you need any help, uh, they're gonna. Oh, be you're gonna need help. Oh, um, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And when we get done here, I gotta have a big shout out for my family too. Cause they, well, they're great. Carter, okay. you're uh, you're just beginning the tip of the iceberg, and you got a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Behind us, Ian. Now, Ian and the team knows um, I have to work at pronunciation words. Is that right, gang? Yes. Every every time we would have the you con can't have it all, Danny. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible at words and things. One thing I have to remember, when I'm talking about a wrestler, a wrestler, a wrestling official, or the Cardinals, I'll give you names. But, but Ian comes in, and Ian, he goes, uh, tells me his name, common spelling, you know, X-I-E. He goes, yeah, shit. I go, shit? Yeah, I mean, did I work on this to get it right? Did I? And he, let's see the look he's giving me right now. When every time I would say it wrong, because I was Z or X, and finally I was like, oh my gosh, I, I give up on that. So the rest of the team, so Ian, unbelievable talent. First year eighth grader. First year eighth grader, 23 wins on his feet. The first month, the first month that we taught, he was so strong that we would try an outside leg or inside or blast double or any of those. And finally, I just look at him, I go, Ian, take him down, put him on their back, hold him and pin him. <laughs> and and, and I, I remember a couple matches, you remember this, I would shout an instruction to him. And he was so strong, you know, it's like, outside leg single, and he'd do an inside leg single, you know, and I'd, I'd say, drive into him, he'd just pick him up in the air, you know, and I'd say, half Nelson, and he, I don't even know what he would do, and he'd turn him over, and he'd pin him, and finally, I looked at you guys, and I said, do not listen to me, just win, did I not? Yes, you did. I, and, and, and he was one of these, that it just, he, he, he definitely is like a rattlesnake, just turning loose, and, and he just... Fabulous. You have no choice, Ian. You have to wrestle in high school. He, he has that symmetrical balance. He has that symmetrical talent and just so strong. And he's one of these that uh, and when he was out there wrestling, he was just like a bomb, you know. And, and when you get done, you try to explain it to him. He'd, oh, I'm sorry. I'll work at it hard. It's so polite, you know. So take a little bit of that politeness and be a little bit meaner. And you're, All right. So, Ian. Oh, my. Anything you'd like to say to us? Well, so I want to tell a story about last year when Coach Dan wants to, like, get me into wrestling. <laughs> well, the way he gets people to do wrestling is he comes to our school during lunch period. And I was in seventh grade. So he came to our lunch period. And when we were, like, near the end, he came to my table. And everybody at my table except for me went and put and threw their stuff away. So Coach Dan sat down in front of me and said, did you you know wrestling can help stop bullying or like help you fight bullying and I said okay and then he said some other stuff and I'm like neat and then I didn't join wrestling after that and then this year I joined wrestling 
No, it's fine. Good decision, huh? Yeah. Hey, you can learn a lot from this guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, it's really fun. And you can get out in high school, right? Mm-hmm. Do some other sports, maybe some football. Yeah, I wish I could do football. I just don't know how to do football. Well, they're going to teach matter. you. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah, when you got balance, speed, and strength, that's that's what you need, that's right? right. Got to get out there. He has all three all three of them. Yeah, your grandson made a good career out of it. Yeah, he, he did. It. And wrestling helped him, yeah. you know, get into those. I mean, those tackles he would do were two places, all those without a doubt. Oh, yeah, I saw a little wrestling in every tackle he made. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. He caught on. 99% of kids run with their legs. You're yeah, right. He, he caught on to it. Yes. <laughs> Is, uh, you want to give a shout out to anybody? Uh, my family and Coach Stan for teaching me wrestling. Okay. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Good. Nice job. Mm-hmm. I'll get a hold of the attorney. You're in the will now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot there, too. <laughs> My insurance man gets most of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Layla, now. Layla DiBardino. And I worked on learning your name, too. It took me two years. Um, I missed it. What did you say the name? Layla DiBardino. DiBardino. Evidently not enough work. Not enough. That's why we're bringing her back next year. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Layla, I, w- with a capital B in the middle of that. Uh, uh, certainly not last, but uh, Layla, uh, our varsity 105 pounder, and not because she backed into that. As you'd imagine, we would have uh, weeks and weeks, and she won f- uh, 15 matches for us this year at 105 pounds, which is a, a tough area that's inside there. Um, she now, second year of wrestling, uh, no excuses, many a times that uh, Layla come when we needed those matches and we got wins. She kind of perfected towards the end of the year. Her headlock got yeah. to be real nasty, real nasty. I still mess up sometimes, but it's okay. But you work at it hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're going to work a little bit better next year on stuffing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. She's one of these that, because we work a lot on stuffing, is it's push your hands and, and your feet, you know, you, you go ahead and you sprawl. You got to sprawl. Well, Layla would always do this. She would, she would, she would stick her rear end out and her feet, and her, and her feet would stay there. So, yeah. so we It's not my fault. My feet wouldn't move. <laughs> so Layla then developed uh, some other moves uh, for the headlock and then the snap down on the front headlock but uh, uh, girls wrestling is the fastest growing sport in the state of Illinois at the high school level and the junior high level. We got told this year at the state tournament two years from now there will be an IESA girls state final. Had that been this year I promise you we would have seen her there. I, I promise you we would have seen her causing a lot of problems. In, in her uh, two years that I know of, I don't think that you've ever lost to another girl. Uh, Actually, last year I did. Did you? Like did. twice to the Lucy girl and someone else. Oh, yeah. That, that is a tough one. That, that's a tough <laughs> one. So, uh, but, but she, she causes havoc. Causes havoc with who she's wrestling. And it has nothing to do with, on our team, we could care less for this girl. Boy, am I right? Yeah. I bark at you just as well as with your girls, your boy. Yeah. And I cheer just as well with you that you are uh, a wrestler. And uh, she is future. Uh, next year, um, I'm going to guess you're probably at about 112 pounds. Is where I'm going to guess for you. To, to 112 wrestle. or 119? I'd say 112. And, uh, and then, and <laughs> well, maybe 119, you're right. But, but then she has a bright future at high school because there is a regional, sectional, and state at the high school. Lincoln Junior High this year had four girls on the team started and four girls finished the, t- the season this year uh, at Lincoln Junior High. And one and one time we went ahead and started all four of them at a varsity match. So we actually had four girls started in the lineup one, one night on the, on the 19 uh, weight classes. And uh, so she's kind of our, uh, uh, without a doubt, you are our best girl wrestler that we have. <laughs> and uh, go right ahead. Um, I don't really know what to say, but um, thank you, Coach, for not giving up on me last year because I only won two matches, but this year I did way better. Get no. some confidence going. Mm-hmm. We'll never give up on you. Okay, We're glad that you didn't give up on us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to give a shout-out to some people? Uh, just like all the coaches, like Coach Dan and Coach Craig and Coach Dwight. They were, like, the best part of the season. And is it – was it – 
Were you nervous going out for wrestling, like being the only girl? Um, last year there was another girl too, so I wasn't ever really the only girl, but I was really nervous in general because I didn't know if the team would like me or not. <laughs> They're going to like you. And did they all like you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes. Sometimes they're like, It's okay. Everybody. <laughs> you made some good buddies yeah. doing this. You know, Dan, you'll know this. I mean, I don't know how many years ago it was, but didn't uh, the famous Rex Bronham, I remember him. He, was, he went to California, I think. He went to California. I remember him telling me he was going to have both women's and men's wrestling at whatever college he went to mm -hmm. and he said mark my word it had to be 20 years ago or more oh yeah he said you mark my word it's coming oh yeah it's growing because that's the first i'd heard of it i was like exactly. there are girl wrestling teams and he was right. like absolutely i'm coaching one and now look at it's taking off i know when it first started you know uh my granddaughter she, she's one another uh, unbelievable athlete and all as i still remember at the family table you know about wrestling they look at my sister not in my life are you gonna wrestle so so, uh, but now it has just changed to where um, you, you don't think twice about it. Uh, in, in Illinois, one of the biggest areas uh, that they had then was uh, Mr. Anderson, uh, of course, and Sam Knox uh, set it up to where the weigh-ins, there's no longer weigh-ins in locker rooms. You, we go with our uniforms on and you weigh in with your uniforms on in, in an open forum area. There's no reason for us to go into locker rooms. There's no reason for that. Uh, they, we get done. Uh, uh, so that has made a big difference. And also now there's girl cut uniforms. They're, they're cut higher, uh, more around the shoulders and all. So, um, and longer, longer in the leg area. So it's it, all evolving. Oh, it's, 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 it is. It's evolving. And what's really unique at the state tournament and a lot of tournaments is you'll see that the girls will be sitting and collectively having a conversation and a little bit more of a fun atmosphere uh, to where the boys you're seeing a little bit more of a competitive atmosphere but um, I, I think uh, the girls gonna have change. a lot of <laughs> a great change and I, I honestly think there's a lot that we can learn from that uh, is that uh, when you get out of here there's no millionaires there's no millionaires in wrestling you know but what the, what we do is set you up to be a person and a human being and a, a successful person um, as I've, we've told them many times the first person you got to convince is that person you're looking at in the mirror and uh, it, and, and make sure you always tell the truth we can we can fight it if we tell the truth so and, and this team has done that I think throughout well, you could probably remember her name and I remember the first female wrestler I saw I went out to the holiday tournament out here Kelly yeah from uh, Muhammad uh, well, Muhammad Monticello she she lived in Monticello but she wrestled for Muhammad uh, she she walked out there and it was like wow Tough. she was rolling some kids over and they weren't happy about it and I was like man mm -hmm. and, you know it, it's coming oh yeah absolutely it is and exciting very exciting to go, go to the girls state tournament at the end of the year uh, in, in Bloomington and it's a good crowd big crowd uh, there's a lot of schools now that are having a high school uh, wrestling coach for mixed. And you call it mixed because the girls can also wrestle there. And then uh, like at Pure Rich was it's just a girls wrestling team. Pure wrestling team, a, a schedule that they follow and go by. Well, let's say uh, you guys had a pretty successful season. So did uh, Coach Fulcher. He did okay with you guys? Does he ever get on the mat and wrestle? Oh, yeah, definitely. He did it one time. I, I can remember one time. What happened this year? He got mad because a lot of us, well, not a lot, but a couple people forgot their uniforms <laughs> for picture day. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we were a very forgetful team. Great kids. But forgetful. Also, the, the practice after picture day, or the, the meet, was it the practice or the meet? Practice, right afterwards. Oh, yeah, it was the practice. Uh, we forgot stuff, like, and after the practice, we forgot stuff. So the, the meet after that, he was pretty mad. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> so I can account two times that he got mad. Mm -hmm. Also, on picture day, he said these exact words. He said, this is the maddest I've ever been in my whole life of coaching. Because, like, five kids forgot their uniforms like two kids forgot their uh 
uh, slips. On picture day. <laughs> on picture day. I don't think it's the maddest you've ever been. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Discouraged. Discouraged, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I got to wrestle a little bit with Elliot that day, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody watched, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good stuff. Yeah. And uh, you said earlier you wanted to give a shout out to your family. They, oh, I, I tell you, this journey is a totally impossible, you know. And, uh, and I mean, without a doubt, you know, my, my, my family, my daughter-in-laws, my son-in-laws, I mean, uh, it, just unbelievable things that they do. You know, Tiffany and helping making design, uh, the, the uniforms, the pictures, the sweats and all this kind of stuff. The, I'm sorry, the, the uh, spirit wear that we sell. And then my wife, I'm, I got to tell you, she probably works harder behind the scene than anybody, without a doubt, including yours truly. Uh, the group me messages, the things that go out, you know, the scheduling of, of the uh, concessions, uh, listen to all the things. Like somebody will ask some questions. She thinks that, it, that it's going to maybe bother me a little bit. I'll handle that. You know, and she just just really is the – she's the mortar between the bricks on this team, and it's just totally impossible to do it without without a family support. I'll tell you that. You know, maybe you ought to take Fran out for a nice lunch or something today. There is not a doubt in my mind. <laughs> we have now worked it out to where I have the last words, and it's yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so it works. We can all learn from that. Uh, yeah. Yes. I'm a cat. Thank you. See, we're still no learning stuff. No doubt. Well, we'd like to thank you guys for coming on today. Sounds like uh, success is building and heading out to that high school, Coach. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, look at um, your, you, you know, you have state qualifiers at youth. Uh, Lincoln High School wins a regional this year. Uh, think of that beating Bloomington. Hello. <laughs> a little bit of got that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Coach Gardner probably didn't like that. Uh, he, we can live with it. Uh, then I'll take it. At the beginning of this year, uh, when we had so many youth, um, I looked at the coaching staff and Brent Boehner, and I said, Brent, I said, we'll probably win five duels this year. Let's be realistic. This is a total rebuild year. And we went 19-13. You know, this group has won 64 matches the last three years. Um, Now I've hardly ever said this. We're going to be tough as nails next year. <laughs> I'll tell you what, next, next two years, next two years at Lincoln Junior High is going to be. We're coming. You <laughs> <laughs> have to get those T-shirts made. That's right. We're coming. Oh, I like that. That's, uh, that's cute. Well, we'd like to thank you guys for being on and uh, come back and see us again next year. And Jake and I are going to take a break here, and uh, we'll be right back. Stay with us. Culver's is a family restaurant. To me, that means being the place that puts a smile on everyone's face. We're famous for our cooked-to-order butter burgers and frozen custard made daily inside our restaurants. But we've always believed more menu options mean more ways to brighten your day. We source the finest chicken to bring you our tenders and chicken sandwiches. And our cheese curds. They're a Wisconsin tradition we're proud to share with you. So take the next meal shift off and let us take care of you. Welcome to Delicious. Culver's, home of the Butter Burger, 2530 Woodlawn Road in Lincoln. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center makes an impact locally and beyond through a wide range of events, ministries, and outreaches. Pastors Steve and Debbie Owens invite you to worship Sunday mornings at 1030 and attend Wednesday night Bible studies at 630. Connect with FGEC online, follow them on Facebook, download their app, and visit their new website at myfgec.org with live YouTube video streams as well as recordings of services and special events. Full Gospel Evangelistic Center, 304 North McLean Street in Lincoln. Brian Clark State Farm offers a range of insurance products to fit your unique needs and give you a peace of mind. Our dedicated team helps you find the perfect policy to safeguard your biggest investments. Brian Clark State Farm can steer you in the right direction on auto insurance, and we've got your home covered from natural disasters to unexpected accidents. Contact me, State Farm Agent Brian Clark, at 217-732-6211 or visit sfinsurelincoln.com. Go Railers!
Whether you're buying or selling your home, the brokers of Me Realty will work with you to get the deal done. As one of Central Illinois' top producing offices for decades, Me Realty has the experience to guide you through the process. You want results? Call the brokers of Me Realty at 217-735-5424, stop by the office at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln, or check out local listings online at merealty.com. from the 2024 Lady Railers State Champion Basketball Team, and you're listening to Cheap Seats on WLCN. Sitting here, uh, Beastie Birds, I believe. Tell you what, we just had the junior high wrestlers on there, and they were very entertaining. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> Two things we learned there: we all know that Danny Fulcher can talk, which That's he true. did an excellent job of. And number two, those wrestlers were entertaining. Fun you kids. know what? They uh, they started getting more energy as the as the interview went on. So yeah, yeah the sugar buzz was kicking That's in from Miller. That's when we yeah. were like, hey, maybe you need to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the one uh, next to me here, he was like, how much longer are we out on here? I think you're done. He's like, uh-huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> they were going to do a uh, nine to noon show for yeah, us. No kidding, they were ready to go. Uh, well, that was good. And they, it sounds like they're, uh, you know, there's a, a bright future going on there. Well, and, you're and trying to angle, angle for some uh, football players there too. I, I don't blame you. I think there's going to be a couple good ones there. Boy, wrestlers make good football players. They do. Yeah, the, 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 the foot. It's it's amazing how much, like Danny was saying, how much the the transition of uh, movements move and, and also the footwork is incredible. The, the footwork from wrestling tra- transitions into football really well. Oh, and you learn as a wrestler, you learn to grab legs. Yeah. And in football, you need to grab legs to tackle. You know, yeah. a lot of them want to go up top and and grab their wings in case they're going to fly away and their legs are still going. You know, yep. so you got to tackle legs. Um, let's lots of there's a lot of things going on right now, but the number one thing going on on that television is the NCAA basketball tournament and you're fighting a line eye. Uh, wait, you're what? fighting a line eye. You know what? The fighting a line eye, they're going to get they got a chance. I really think that they're a great team, but and they a have a great team. I said. think they're good. They are. Um, and they they have a anything can happen as we see and you watch the tournament anything can happen but uh, you know they what I would consider they they get to play two mid majors to get to the Sweet 16 and that's a big deal you know if they get by Duquesne yeah Duquesne's gonna be I mean definitely not a walkover no uh, and neither no. was neither was that first game it uh, you kind of seen it coming it, the the Illini for the last few weeks they kind of stick around and just keep keep a team at distance or you know just a little bit off there and be down a few points or maybe even up a few points but then it comes down to about 12 minutes left in the game and it's a totally different ball game they kick in the defense the 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 uh break fast breaks become a little bit more quick a little more crisp you, you see the outside shooting and you see the other team struggling to get uh get a breath of air or a point i mean that's kind of how it's been for the last few games and that's the reason they won the big 10 title and a uh, big win the other night yeah, they got. They have. Uh, they wear you down. I mean, they can play eight, nine deep, and and the the uh, I can't think of his name now, but the big guy that comes in, that he had a big game on. Deja. On, uh, yeah, you know, wow, that, Illinois is good. Oh, he how he, good? Real good. <laughs> nice. He's a he's a talent, and uh, y- you know y- you have to give credit a lot of times. As an Illini fan, you look back through the years, you notice some, especially in losses, that we don't take uh, take advantage of the mismatch. And the other night, you saw it almost almost instantly where Deja was, was really a dominant player in the game. And so often the Illini in the past, they'd go to that guy, have a minute, they'd pull him back out because he wasn't part of the original plan. Well, they seen it, and then they exposed it for the rest of the game, and boy, that that really made a big twist in the game. Yeah, they're going to wear you down if you're if you're playing six deep. If, if it's five, tough. Yeah, it's, they, it's tough, especially in this NCAA uh, nowadays. You're a lot more teams are playing with kids that have been around, well, four, five, six, nine years, whatever it is now with the COVID <laughs> stuff. But but I mean, a lot of teams are playing with a lot of older teams, and, and it really makes the tournament a little more interesting. You get those young teams that have mostly freshman or sophomore players and yes they are talented like crazy but they haven't been through it enough to, to be cohesive I guess is the best way to say it and uh, they get exposed a little bit in the tournament this this term has been fantastic so far yeah, you know the NCAA tournament is always fun we uh nope we're hanging on a minute. T- you, today, a good one's going to be uh, that's in the Big Ten as well. The North Carolina versus Michigan match of Michigan State. Michigan State. Michigan State play, has been playing really good ball, and I, I think they're going to. I think it's going to be a, a good matchup right there. So I'll tell you fun, what, fun game. Tommy Izzo is just the tournament man. Yeah, he's he's always been tough. Yeah, I don't care what happens when Michigan State's in. You, you got to pay attention to him. Absolutely. I think we got a caller on there. Who who's on the air with us? Hey, it's Bobby V. Great show, you guys. Bobby V. I, Never heard I, of you. I, I, lo- I love that Dan Folcher. Yeah, I, Danny I play can talk. Ball against him. He's still a competitor. You can just tell he's. Yeah, he's we doing talked a great about job. that today. We might play wiffle ball later. 
Yeah. <laughs> wiffle, that's paddle wiffle ball, yeah. Yeah. So, hey, what about that guy that beat Kentucky? I can't think of his name right now. The three-point oh, guy. Oh, I can't either. That guy hit bombs all day and beat Kentucky. Yeah. And he was a nothing. He he just was like division nothing. And uh, he, I think it's like he's sixth year. Oh, he Finally, looked this like year a thirty-year-old man out there. But uh, yeah, he lit yeah. it up. I had to make your uh, brother Chuck. He was probably crying somewhere, wasn't he? <laughs> he was. Yeah. And my other brother picked Kentucky to win it. Well, he's he's xed out. <laughs> yeah, you're. you're... So you just you just mentioned Michigan State. That kid that came over from. Uh, uh, Africa, he uh, didn't pick up a basketball till he was 16. Uh, some contractor over there saw him and he brought him over to the United States and he's quite a story. You know, he uh, he's built a school over there, uh, built a well for their water. He, he's quite a young man. Wow. So he, he's, where's he getting the money from, NIL? Uh, who knows? Oh. I don't know where he's getting the money well, from. But I just yeah, so, somebody's helping out. Yeah, somebody's helping out. Probably Joe Ryan Country Financial independently. Well, I think so. Yeah. And and Jake's furnishing, you know, some of that remodeling money's gone over to the kid. There, there, there you but, go. Yeah, yeah. There's a yeah, lot of yeah. money out there. But there's yeah. probably a sale going on today. Oh, absolutely. You know, the secret to Illinois is, there, is I listen to him on the radio. Yeah, don't the change that. Guys, they're way better than the TV people. <laughs> or they, you're right. Yeah, you're they right. They are. Radio guys are ten times better than the TV people. Well, I think you're right, and it's it's a little less stress if you're not watching them. Yeah, but yeah, I I really believe they have a chance to get out there. It'd be fun to see them yeah. get out in that Final Four. Bobby, have all the hype. Bobby, didn't you call last week? I did. He had a funny and, story. Uh, what was the subject last week? I was calling in about stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh was it was the about color the state red. champions. The state might, champions. Might have been. And yeah. uh, about 23 years ago, I was on the radio like you guys, and I mentioned that Dominique Dawson was our only state champion in the long jump. And about three days later, some guy called me on my personal phone and said, well, Jack Agnew won the pole vault back in 1952. Wow. And I kicked myself for not talking to that guy. It could have been Jack Agnew. He'd be oh. 89 or 90 by now. If he's listening, now call in. That was Joe's first year coaching. <laughs> it was. Hey, well, there's Jake, a lot of funny think, people on the radio. Think, you, you think Joe can spell Duquesne? <laughs> no, no chance. <laughs> Lucky to say it. <laughs> yeah. Duquesne. Yeah, say that. D-O-O-C-A-I-N. No. D U K D U Q U E N S E. See, there you go. I was making. I was letting you look smart, Bob. Well, yeah, well, you know, that's pretty rare. <laughs> no, it's easily done. We get you in the right spot. You look smart. Yeah, if I get the right subject, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, great show, guys, and uh, I hope your remodeling is going good. And good luck to your business, Joe. And all right. And, Thanks to Jim Ash and Lloyd Kirby, or we wouldn't be on the air. Yeah, that's, you're right there. That and uh, Amron for having electricity. We're all good. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And whoever invented radio, who was that guy? Uh, Thomas Radio. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Benjamin Radio, yeah. Whatever Thanks for the call, is. Bobby. Thanks for the call, well, Bobby. For, yeah, thanks for putting up with me. All right. See you. See you. <laughs> Bobby V calling in, checking in. He knows a little bit about basketball, coming from that basketball family. Oh, yeah. You going to watch Illinois today? I think that's the plan. That's the plan. Well, maybe a few other teams as well. It, we'll see. It's, just, it's tonight, right? Are you, are you looking at it? Is it like well, a it is a seven? Some seven? 7.40 tip-off. Oh, boy, it's late. Yeah, that's, that's the late one. There's some, there's some good ones today, though. You got Kansas and Gonzaga, Dayton against Arizona, Michigan State, North Carolina. I mean, they're really good games. If you if you fell in love with that Oakland team the other night, they got uh, NC State, Texas and Tennessee. That'll be a really good one there. And then, uh, you know, Oregon and Creighton. That could be a fun matchup right there, my friend. Oregon and Creighton? Oregon and Creighton. Oh, Creighton, Creighton's tough. It, Creighton is tough, and you know the, the thing about it is is that Oregon Oregon is so I, – I'm sorry, but they just seem to be overrated a lot. We got another caller on the phone. Hey, Go ahead, caller. Hey, Joe. Hey, it's I'm, Bobby. He's back. He didn't hang I up. Apologize. Well, I apologize <laughs> to you guys. What I, I talked to him for a long time, the other guy, the guy that does the PA that we used to do the radio with for the wrestling. Shannon Kelly? Shannon Kelly. Thank you. 
All oh. right, that's it. Oh, there Sorry, you go. I'm getting old. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you. Bye. All right, see you. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Shannon Kelly. He's uh, uh, one of those Kelly boys, and he's over. At the, if you go to the state wrestling tournament, uh, he's working the microphone all day long about who's on the next mat, who's winning, what the score is, all that stuff. He does a good job. Um, he likes to talk. Yeah. You know, kind of like you. Key to being on the radio, you got to like to talk. Huh, that's my problem. Yeah, well, that's yeah, why you, nobody likes Tell you me. what, you're just pretty. I just ha- We just have you here for eye candy. Speaking of eye candy, look at this place. Yeah, yeah we're eye candied out here. Well, uh, when you open? We're open. We're open right now. We're, we're open. You need one? Well, let's roll I mean, you up one. Why not? It's 10 o'clock. Let's Might as well get going one. good. You know what? There's got to be something over there that's got fruit in it. And we're, uh, we're that's we're, nutritious. What's the, what is this place? Copper, copper and oak. oak. Copper, copper and oak. oak. Stop by and see us. You would think there'd be a little more copper and oak. Well, yeah. well, you don't even know what woods are woods. Are you? You're like, that's woods. Exactly that's got to be oak, isn't it? I'm talking about exactly what You're I'm like, talking oh, about. Oh, that looks like copper, isn't it? No, it's black steel. Bourbon <laughs> made in copper, stored in oak. Stored in oak. There you go. There there you copper go. oak. Looks good in here, man. Looks good. Oh, nice. thanks. Looks good. Hey, uh, we want much of an echo. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as bad as next door. <laughs> It, it reminds me of the old uh, Rush album, Test for Echo, because we keep putting stuff in here trying to test for the echo. Absolutely. Siplets, siplets. we got to fix that. Uh, hey, we want to thank you guys for joining the show today. We've went over. Jim Ash doesn't like it when we go over. He gives us a look. Uh, thanks to uh, Danny Fulcher for coming in and bringing the junior high wrestlers. They were very entertaining. And uh, thanks for Jake getting out here. We want to give a shout-out to Scott Kirby. He's at home resting up. Resting up. Here we he might be back with us next week, maybe. Yeah. Oh, hey, there'll be no show next week. It's Easter. It's Easter. Yeah. So enjoy your Easter holiday. Enjoy. Make sure you're shopping local, people. Shop local. There's a furniture sale going on. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Live video streaming of this event is made possible in part by WLCN's live stream technology sponsor, Me Realty, located at 602 Keokuk Street in Lincoln and online at merealty.com. The preceding program is a presentation of WLCN 96.3 FM and WLCNonline.com.